I'm Catherine from Cascade Botanical. You might know me from Instagram as Cascade Cat. I'm here today to talk a little bit about the basic installation of the TVO2 and TVO5 vacuum ovens for solvent extraction. The first thing you'll want to do is prepare a place for your oven. You should find a place for your oven on a sturdy cart or bench that's at least 30 inches off the ground or whatever your local building code would require for a water heater. I recommend moving the oven on its pallet to the surface where it will stay. The first thing you'll need is your half inch nut driver. You'll go ahead and use that to remove the bolts underneath. Notice that the holes for the bolts that secured it to the pallet will also be the holes that we'll use for the leveling feet that you have in your ship kit that you received with the oven. First thing you'll notice once you have your oven in place and ready to install is that there's a temperature probe that extends quite a ways into the chamber. This is part of the, of the design of the oven, very intentional and very important. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is install the bottom shelf directly over that temperature probe. In the case of the TV05, you'll use the shelf clips to select the lowest possible placement for the shelf without putting any pressure on that probe. In the TV02, you'll be using the clip on the bottom of the small shelf to clip onto the temperature probe. The robust programmable PID controller, the temperature probe inside the oven, and the solid aluminum shelves are the trifecta that allows Cascade Botanical to supply you with a vacuum oven that has even heating and is known throughout the industry for no overshoot, no temperature spikes, and no unevenness across the shelves. You're able to use the entire shelf capacity, every square inch, because we know that the heating is even. You won't get buttering up on one side and unstable oil on the other. The controller provides a lot of information to the user. The current temperature in the oven, the set point, as well as a pilot light that will inform you as to whether or not the heaters are being activated. This is a KF25 flange, standard vacuum fitting in the industry capped for future use. You can use this port to receive our accessory temperature probe, which would show you the exact temperature um, of anything it's in contact with in the oven, so you could monitor your product temperature. You could use this for our digital pressure gauge accessory, uh, or Call me if you have another idea. To install the vacuum connection, you'll need a 3 quarter inch wrench and an 11 16 You could also use an adjustable wrench if you have one handy. Take the larger tube stub, insert it into this compression fitting. This compression fitting will be vacuum tight once it's tightened the first time. Once it's tightened the first time, you will not be able to remove this or readjust it. So make sure that it's pushed in about a half an inch. You'll feel it stop. With the 3 quarter inch wrench, stabilize the nut closest to the oven. Then use the other wrench to tighten. The vent connection is installed exactly the same way. Insert the smaller bulb fitting into the compression fitting using the 5 8 wrench against the oven and the 9 16 go ahead and tighten it the same way. In your connection kit, you received a vacuum rated tubing with a little hose clamp. Simply slide this over the vacuum stub and use your quarter inch nut driver to tighten that hose clamp. This vent connection is where the air will come into the chamber to release the vacuum. If you leave this blank, air from behind your oven will be drawn into the chamber at lightning fast speed. All of the dust, moisture, pollen, other things in your room, especially behind the equipment, will be brought into the chamber right on top of that beautiful, pretty, sticky slab. We suggest taking a piece of quarter inch tubing, slipping it over here, and just bringing it around to the top or side of the oven, duct taping it, and putting a paper filter over it. We also have an accessory that allows you to connect to a tank of gas. You could use an inert gas, like nitrogen or argon, or just clean, dry air. This would assure that the gas that's coming into the chamber to break the vacuum is clean, particle-free, 
and in the case of nitrogen and argon, inert with no oxidation. We've done it. We've installed the bottom shelf. We have the vent and vacuum connections and the vacuum tubing attached. All that's left is connecting it to a pump. In our pumps video, we'll show you the different kinds of inlets on the pumps and how to connect them. Feel free to look us up on Facebook and Instagram. And if you have any questions, just give us a call. Have a great day.